This is Sumedh. Sumedh's grandparents live in another town. He had to take a bus to go to meet them. Sumedh came to the bus station with his parents. At the bus station, Sumedh saw a variety of things. There were lots of buses standing at the bus station. Some were at the platforms. A few were standing elsewhere. The names of the places were written on all the buses. The names of the places were written on the platforms as well. Why are there two different names written on all the buses? Names of the places are written on the buses where it comes from and where it goes to. So, if a bus comes from Solapur and is going to Mumbai, Solapur, Mumbai is written on it. Now, see what is written on the bus in front, Pune, Alibad. So, where has it come from? Pune. And where will it go? To Alibad. There are such buses in the cities as well. Where they come from and where they go to is written on those buses too. There are bus stations for these buses. The bus stations in the cities are big. Sumedh was looking around. Some buses were standing at the platforms, some were coming into the platforms and some buses were leaving the bus station. Sumedh was quite surprised to see so many buses. There were so many people at the bus station. Some were carrying big bags in their hands. Some people were boarding the buses. Some people were getting down from the buses. Some were sitting on the bench and waiting for their bus. When a bus arrived at the platform, people were rushing to board the bus. There were some small children. Their parents picked them up and boarded the bus. There were many stalls on the bus station. Most of them were food stalls. There were some newspaper stalls. There were small book stalls. There was a juice bar. The uncle there was extracting sugar cane juice. Another uncle was serving the juice. There were three stalls of tea and vada pav. There was a fruit stall. Sumed's father bought some bananas. He bought some wafers. Father gave the wafers and a banana to Sumed. Soon, Sumed's bus too arrived at the platform and halted. Sumed boarded the bus along with his parents. On entering the bus, all of them started looking for their seats. Everyone had a ticket. Seat number was written on the ticket. A seat is a place where we sit. We are given a seat number. We should sit on that particular place. There was a conductor in the bus. By looking at the seat numbers, he was telling people where to seat. He had a ticket vending machine and a small money purse in his hand. Sumed's father showed the ticket to the conductor uncle. After looking at the seat numbers, the conductor uncle showed the seats to Sumed and his mother and father. They kept the luggage 
on the board overhead. Then the three of them sat on their seats. Some people did not have a ticket. They were paying the conductor uncle and taking the ticket. Vendors started coming in the bus. They had a variety snacks. People were buying the snacks. Sumed looked out of the window. He was watching the buses coming in and going out of the bus station. He was reading the names written on the buses. The bus driver arrived in a little while. He looked at his watch to see if it was time to start the bus. He told the conductor uncle, five more minutes. The conductor uncle said, yes. Sumedh asked his father, will the bus start now? Sumedh's father said, it will start in next five minutes. Sumedh started looking here and there again. After five minutes, the driver uncle turned back. Driver uncle said, it is time now. Have all the passengers boarded? The conductor uncle looked at his watch and said, yes, it is time now. All the passengers have boarded. People traveling from one place to another are passengers. Those traveling in a bus, a train or an auto rickshaw are all called passengers. The conductor uncle closed the bus door. He rang the bus bell twice. The bus started. The conductor uncle had a look to see if there were people or vehicles at the rear side. Then he started ringing the bell. The driver uncle started reversing the bus. He reversed it and brought it to the right spot. Then the conductor uncle stopped ringing the bell. He took his seat. The bus turned and came to the main road. Sumedh was quite excited. He turned back and said goodbye to the bus station. What did we learn? There are buses for traveling to places. They start from a bus station and go to places. At the bus station, there are platforms for the buses to halt. A bus halts at the platform. People board the bus. The bus starts at the scheduled time. There is a conductor in the bus. He gives tickets. There is a driver in the bus. He drives the bus. Just as there are buses to go out of station, there are buses to travel within the same city. They go places in the city which are far away. People traveling from one place to another are called passengers. Exercise Do you travel out of station in a bus? To which place do you go? What is written on your bus? When you travel with your parents, get money from your parents and buy tickets. Find out how many passengers can sit in a bus.